boy Carcino, man, in case it's your first time ever here. You can hit the like button if you like. Support the page. We keep it real, keep it moving. Uh, normally we talk about things of importance, educational things or things you might never have heard of before in life. And other times we talk about BS like this. Um, Tommy uh, appeared on this whatever called Fresh and Fit. Right now, Fresh and Fit is a ridiculous podcast where they have a round table of low rent strippers on their show and they just argue and talk about absolutely nothing while they degrade black women and would actually went out on a way to disrespect black women on another podcast show. All of this is spearheaded by DJ Academics. DJ Academics is the one that's spearheading all of this nonsense. The show adds no nothing of value. It's pitiful. And it's another example of how low we have sunk in the entertainment bracket because we give kudos and crown people like Academics to put stuff like this out on the internet. These two clowns sound fresh and fit. I'm like, what? One guy is fresh and the other guy's fit? Nothing about these dudes says fresh and fit. They look like two goddamn programmers. I'm like, they sound like they got a CrossFit program or something. Fresh and fit? What is what is fresh and fit about the show? Nothing. So everyone's been sending me clips of this show episode that had Tommy on it. And um, he's basically doing what Tommy do, disrespecting black women. And the black woman was next to him. And I guess she tried to hit him. I couldn't even tell because somebody ran in there to grab somebody. And and Tammy's just sitting there sw swinging like a girl. Rather than... I'm like, well, I've only seen a clip, thank God. Because there's no way I could sit through something like that. Now. It's strange to me that this isn't the first time the person whose name is really Tammy, I believe, has been in trouble. Thanks, Jamil. Thanks, uh, Michael. <laughs> or has been in a situation where he has gotten into a physical altercation with women. Didn't he have a road rage thing where he's attacking a black woman? If I'm not mistaken, there's a video of that. And the only time he gets confronted by a black man, he grabs the telephone and decides he wants to call the cops. Let that sink in. Black women, you got all the energy in the world to fight them. Then once he's confronted by a black man, it's a whole different story. It's time to pick up the phone. Who are you going to call? The police! Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 -da. It's 
So, you had a lot of energy. Lots of it. Tons of energy. For anyone who was a black woman. Your show is never about disrespecting any other race but black people. And that's the kind of stuff DJ Academics gravitates to. He likes that stuff. Because he's aligned himself. Didn't I tell you? All these clowns stick together. Didn't he grab Hassan Campbell and buddy up with him too? Now, he didn't got his buddy on Fresh and Fit. His other friend, Tommy. And what do they like to do? Disrespect black women. You got Butt Boy, and you got this clown. Then you got academics, who put it all in motion. I'm more upset with the people. I know they're clowns. They're doing what they're supposed to do. I don't expect anything good to come out of these clowns. I'm disappointed in people who go over there to watch them. I'm like, why would you go over there to watch that? <laughs> it's like watching Jerry Springer. When the Jerry Springer show was on, I didn't watch that. I don't want to see some low rent, basically prostitute fighting with somebody on stage and getting paid to do it and look like fools. It was so bad here in Chicago with Jerry Springer, they banned. Jerry had to actually stop showing them fighting on TV. They used to cut that out. And then it's all these idiots, Jerry, 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 Jerry. And what they try to do is recreate, recreate that for the internet when there is no censorship. All these fake incidents with these low rent strippers. Oh, it's a matter of time before they, the, the strippers get smart and realize that I can get more from suing them for sexual harassment. That's that, that's right around the corner. So just get ready for that. One of them will grow a brain. None of these clowns ever had women before. So they don't know how to approach a real woman in life. So this is what they're stuck with. Well, these women don't know any better. I mean, look, most of them are strippers in Miami and not very good ones they're low rent meaning that somebody they they're not making a lot of tips <laughs> and then they're they're getting hopes and dreams of getting exposure on a on a program like this that'll help them get out and boost their social media platform so hopefully they can get some stuff off fashion no <laughs> It's terrible. If you ask me, it's absolutely terrible. But, welcome to America. 
Welcome to America. Everybody is now stupid. And they love to be it too. Stupidity is at an all-time high. Anyone that would watch that program, stupidity goes hand in hand. Now, Tammy, a.k.a. Tommy, who does all this for attention and hits and views, couldn't wait to give his side of the story of him fighting a woman on a social media platform and once again i am not going to watch his videos because there's no need there's no information in it whatsoever there's nothing i could take away from it that makes any sense so uh, there's no need for me to ever go and watch his platform but once again i can't get mad at clowns for being clowns I expect academics to make the type of videos he make because he clown. I expect Fresh and Fit to make the type of show that they do because they're clowns. Tammy, clown. Hassan, clown. These people are going to be what they are. So I don't blame them for that. I expect nothing but the worst out of them. That's all I'm going to get from them. They're clowns. It's the people that watch them. That's the way the disappointment comes in at. It's like, why are you watching this? <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, I really want to know. Like, LB watched that crap, and I'll be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> like, what? Like, literally, you must be really out of your effing mind to watch these shows. They have nothing of value. Nothing. I remember I, we was on the live stream and he was trying to explain to me what was good about the show. And it was like nothing he said had any relevance whatsoever. It was like, huh? <laughs> they just argue about nothing. Like clearly just, just yell and yell and yell and argue and it's just trash. It's like Adam 22, same guy, trash. LB said, none of this motivates me. I can't believe LB would watch that show. Couldn't believe it. I had to know because I was curious. I said, who would watch this damn show? That Fresh and Fit is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. They get a bunch of low rent strippers, and I mean low rent, and put them on the microphone, sell them a dream that they gonna boost them up and make them something and it's only a matter of time before they start getting hit with sexual harassment suits only a matter of time they too stupid to see it coming they're gonna they're gonna get a smart one in there pretty soon and then next thing you know academics fresh and fit and all the rest of them idiots they're gonna get slapped with suits So I call Fresh and Fit the LB Show. <laughs> that is LB Show. He has stamped and co-signed Fresh and Fit.
<laughs> so the first time I heard of this show was this morning. Well, the first time I really heard of them is when they went over there and disrespected black women saying they would never date black women. Why would you need to go out and say that? One guy looked like he didn't been rejected by every black woman in America because he looked like chewed up bubble gum. And the other one looked like he's from India anyway. I don't I don't even understand <laughs> what the big purpose was. That's when I first heard of him. They was on somebody else's podcast. But this is academics creation. No, oh, no, 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 no. Me, star, fresh and fit. Oh, we don't even fit in that part program. He said other people watch fresh and fit because they don't know how to get women. And they, they don't either. <laughs> fresh and fit don't know how to do nothing either. <laughs> Anybody who... Have you seen the women on that show? That's not getting women. <laughs> Them low rent strippers. If I wanted my show to be a fresh and fit, all I would have to do is sign up for that nonsense. All I would have to do is say, let me interview some low rent strippers on my show. Every every night, just have a strip on there and be like, this is gonna boost your Instagram. I'm not trying to showcase strippers and interview them. That's that's clickbaitish for me. But that's LB show there. Fresh and fit. Stamped by LB. All right, it's cold as hell outside. <laughs> Whoa. Man, good thing I'm fresh and fit. <laughs> the LB show. Yeah, hopefully they get hopefully they get LB as a guest on the show. LB wants to let me know academics has nothing to do with the show. Well, 
LB has a lot to catch up to when he finds out academics has more to do with the show than he actually actually know. They're all in cahoots, buddy. They're all in cahoots. Now, Tammy is liking it because this is boosting Tammy up. He loves, he's getting publicity for fighting with a black woman on a show. Again, fighting with another black woman. But like I said, and it's already video, don't lie. All three of his fights are on video. He got punched in the face by the dude. He want to get on the phone and call the cops. He had no energy for the man. <laughs> but he got all the energy for black women. He wanted to fight the black woman in traffic. And can't handle neither one. <laughs> Damn, gas is this expensive? Disagree. I am entertaining. Star is entertaining because we actually entertain you with whatever topic we're talking about, and we we inform you. Fresh and fit. They just promote the ignorance and show you us at our worst, and they promote that. The same thing Adam 22 try to do. Interview strippers slash prostitutes. Getting them to talk about how many NBA players and rappers they slept with. Who had the biggest you know what all this goofiness what is that it's useless information that no one needs or care about so what's the point It's trash. But everybody's been sending me the clip over and over again. So I said, well, I got to make a video to stop everybody from sending me the clip. To show me Tommy basically calling a black woman a B repeatedly over and over again. And for no reason, they just yelling at each other. And then she gets up and I don't even know if she hits him or not. Everybody's like, oh, he got two pieces. I can't, this show, I can't really promote anything. They lie all the time to try to get clicks and views. Academics claim the woman tried to pull a gun on them to try to get click, clicks and views. Like I say, they promote the ignorance and the worst of black people and try to use that to market themselves. They're just, they are just as worse as any other group that's out there exploiting us. They're the epitome of it. And like I said, I, I know what they are. They know they're clowns. It's the people that watch it that surprises and shock me. Like, why would you watch that? Like, what's there of entertainment? That's like watching Jerry Springer. I couldn't sit there and watch Jerry Springer. I would feel so dumb for sitting there. 
I'd be like, man, when Jerry Springer was on, they had petitions, everything to get Jerry off TV. Jerry had to step down because it was causing way, it was way too ratchet. Way too ratchet. Jerry turned the show over to his damn bodyguard. The damn bodyguard was out there with the show. They all screaming, Jerry, Jerry. But see, what happened was, Caucasian people was upset too. Everybody was upset. But it's only when the Caucasian people got upset that they wanted to make some changes. Then they wouldn't show them actually fighting on TV. If somebody jump up and run at somebody, they cut away. But Jerry had to step down because Jerry saw what was coming. With all the lawsuits, then you get an incident. What happened on the Jenny Jones show? What happens when somebody gets hurt on, fe on Fresh and Fit? When somebody takes this off the show and actually harms somebody outside? What happens when that sexual harassment suit comes? And rope all of them in it. What happens then? See, it's all fun and games till somebody gets hurt. Oh, I already know academics is going to step away from it and let everybody else go down until he gets roped in it too. And then LB's gonna see how involved he really is. But don't forget, Academics got the Warren Chirac series. Where he called 12 year old kids in an elementary school savages considerably. Every little kid who got caught with anything was a savage. He gave them nicknames, disrespected them, made fun of dead people. This is where he comes from. And everybody else in the world thought it was entertainment and funny and all these stuff he was doing. Now I realize he's talking about real people and other people with family. So when Vic Minson sat across from him because he actually knew one of the people who died that academics is making videos of, making fun of him, and talking, and academics is trying to sit there and spin it into something it wasn't. And he was like, no, none of it was informative. It was disrespectful and I wanted to slap you in the face. And only then did he realize it was real. But yet, all of those videos are still up. Why? Why is he keeping profiting off of videos where he's basically responsible for at least five deaths and played a part in at least five deaths in Chicago? At least five.
and he's this close to being named in a lawsuit. This close. If all those people can come together and agree on what needs to be done and what should be done, that class action lawsuit is real. And he knows it. He's, he was scared about it. And you know I know you were scared. And when I made that video saying I support any lawsuit against you, I support it. So if they need any help from me in that lawsuit against you, I'm winning. I'm in it. And what your buddy tell me? Yeah, see, no, that's not cool, man. Because that, that's going to affect all of us. If they can get academics, then they can get, no, nah, bro, that ain't going to affect me. It's going to affect him. Yo, buddy. And he was like, you want me to tell him? I was like, tell him. Let him know. He can know. Tell him to lawyer up. Spend that money. Because <laughs> I'm not the one filing the lawsuit. It's the family members who lost people. That you made fun of and played a role in. And if they need some assistance in getting it done, like getting a good lawyer and all that, I'll get it for them. I already told them. They just need to work it out amongst themselves and come together and realize there's a greater purpose here. And that's taking down academics. Once they figure all that out, because this dummy, he was stupid enough to make all the video evidence they need. And he confirmed it in another Twitch video. He was that stupid <laughs> to post it. And I was so glad that he did. Because I said, well, there it is. He confirms it right here. He confirmed everything that y'all needed to win the lawsuit. He just confirmed it for you right here. Because he's stupid. And thank you. Now they have all this information. They have a lawyer, but when everybody comes into agreement, then they will sue academics. And oh, they can sue. Everybody just gotta agree. Because academics is stupid enough to still have all the videos up from the War and Chirac series, where all the evidence is. He still got all the evidence there. He's so stupid. And now, I'm so glad he did, did it, and he's keeping the videos there. He tried to go and edit some, right? But he has no idea what's coming. None. Oh, he, oh, oh, he said this before. I would donate all the money I made off the War Chirac series. Nah, 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 bro. It don't work like that. Don't work like that. You know that, and I know that. It don't work like that. Hey, Joy, thank you. Because your career is built off the war in Chirac. So whatever your channel is, is earning, that's what they're entitled to. Because you weren't earning any of that money until the war in Chirac, which made you academics. Most of these people on here knew of you from that. That's where they know you from. That's what pushed you up in the algorithms. That's what put you on the map. 
you disrespecting black people in a city you weren't even from and you knew it was disrespectful that's why you never showed your face nobody knew what you looked like until you was on complex so they only knew who you were a couple years ago when you got that job and sat your fat ass in that chair So now you have to atone for what you did in the war in Chirac series. So when they come with that class action lawsuit against you, I, like I said, any support they need from me, they're going to get it. Because you don't learn. You think you're too big. Nothing can happen to you. You too big for it. Oh, I'm not snitching at all. I'm not filing the lawsuit. The family members of the people that they lost at academics has helped and played a part in their deaths. Those are the people that are going to do something. Not me. See, I can name five people, at least five, that he's caused and helped cause the death and play a part in their demise. I can name five. And I'll explain to you exactly what he did. So do y'all want to know what he did? Academics confirm that he creates narratives and create storylines for people in the war in Chirac. He gave them names. He named Chief Keith the Grim Reaper. He named all these guys. He built all of them. He created these fake storylines for people, created them, and gave them to real people on in basically the news. He don't know these people. He would see their names and name them, tell them what block they were from, promote them, give them some nickname and say, oh, Lil Slimmy Jim is doing it. He's running the block now. Dude's a straight savage. Every week is a body. Oh man, he's running that block. Look, hey, ain't nobody, anybody messing with him. Oh, they waiting for death. Now, that's not verbatim. This is an example of what was happening. He would make that video, say where the block the guy was from, give him a nickname, give him a fake storyline of how he's doing this and moving that, and and the guy would, would get on like, yay, this guy mentioned me on this series. Boy, Chirac, that's right, I'm turned up, I got a name. And most of these guys are online on social media, or Twitter, or whatever, sending shouts out to them. Like, yeah, that's right. That's me. I'm little crazy savage guy. That's me. So now this guy thinks he's a somebody, but in real life, he's nobody. He's just a guy that really basically stays in the house. He ain't doing none of the stuff that he's claiming. He's just trying to start a rap career now and get on. Now, people who are really doing stuff in the neighborhood sees that, 
and was like, he ain't running over there. I'm from over there. He ain't, this dude's a nobody. Who is this clown talking about? And then the guy go outside. He gets get his bell rocked because basically academics didn't put a target on this dude's back. And basically told you what where he lives and where what area he's from and what he's doing. And then he gets gets loses his life. Academics just make a video making fun of him. Oh, they got him. A uh, little crazy savage is gone. And then start making jokes about his life. About a guy he created. He's done this at least four to five times and caused at least four to five deaths. And played a part in it, rather. And then you wonder why I don't like academics. That's why I don't like academics. Would you like a person like that? Do you think I, I should be cool with somebody like that? I would say I don't like academics. It had nothing to do with some jealousy, like they try to paint it. You just jealous. Jealous. <laughs> nah, bro, I don't I don't do those type of videos. I don't I don't think that's value. I don't think that's the type of information that goes out. I don't sit there and praise people for for going out and taking another person's life. I don't think that's something that you should do that to but only somebody who have never been outside would think that's okay to do until you run into people that's actually been to funerals that actually seen their people go these are real live people to them, their family members so these people are hurt forever and you're joking it didn't hit home to him until he ran into Vic Mensa and he realized oh snap now you're scared to come to Chicago because, you know, it's a very dangerous situation when you come to Chicago. I don't care who tells you you safe and you good. You ain't good and you ain't safe. Not here. <laughs> Not good and safe, bro. I don't care who say they granting you safety. You're not good and you're not safe at no time. Especially you. And it ain't coming from me. You already know you ain't good. <laughs> he knows what's waiting for him. He's done nothing positive. What programs do DJ Academics have in place? What charity events have he put together? He makes all this money talking about he's a multimillionaire. Where are your charity events? What you done in New Jersey? What have you done in your community? Nothing. What you done in any community? Nothing. All you've managed to do was just piss people off and make a lot of money off nonsense nothing that no video he has has any value to it whatsoever and he's mad at me because I stay on his neck I didn't make the one shot rack you did
No. If he gets taken out, maybe it's because of what he did to get himself taken out. Not me. I didn't put a target on his back. Like I said, I didn't create the War and Chirac series. He did. I'm not putting the target on his back. He put the target on his back with what he did. <laughs> Period. The target has been on his back for a couple of years. He know it's on his back. It's on his front. It's on his back. It's everywhere. He didn't put the target all on him. Oh, I'm keeping it fresh in everybody's mind that, yes, he's the guy that created the War in Chirac series. Yes, I'm definitely keeping people in remembrance of what academics has done that he has not atoned for. Yes. So maybe he should atone for it and take care of those families that he that he caused the pain for. That Maybe he should do that. Maybe you think y'all should relay that message to academics that he should do that. Help save some lives since you didn't help cause some lives to be lost, academics. Um, I don't know who you are, Philip J. Maybe you're not, you didn't get here earlier when we explained exactly academics role and the part he played. He did more than throw gas on the flames. He created the fire. And he admitted to it. He said he created narratives, he may, meaning he made up stories about these real life people, created these stories to entertain you guys, gave them nicknames in these stories to make them sound like they were bigger than what they were for entertainment value and cost them their lives. Like I said, I can name five. Five people that lives are gone. And about three of them are related to Sosa. Mm-hmm. Well, Tommy's just another pawn. He He's a pawn for attention and views. So all he cares about is hits and views. So for him, 
fighting a woman is nothing. A black a black woman too? Oh yeah, he'll fight them all day. But a black man, he has no energy for whatsoever. He got punched in the mouth in the city and he was on the phone. Are they trying to get are they getting up here? Hello? 911? It's Tommy. <laughs> they trying to get me. Oh, truth of emotions said the BS on Fresh and Fit, nothing but Jerry Spring on YouTube. Why do women keep going on there? Because they're low rent prostitutes. Low rent strippers and prostitutes. That's it. They're trying to get a look. Can you imagine what their life was like before going to sit and talk on a microphone? Right. And then here's the thing. Clout and views. What clout are you getting? Nobody knows you when the show is over. <laughs> Have they not figured that out yet? That they're getting no clout? Don't you see the women keep revolving? If somebody gets smart and realize that they ain't getting no money, but they help making everybody else money, they be like, wait a minute, we ain't getting any money? Y'all getting money and we're not? Uh-uh. <laughs> then, here we go. We're going to start getting those sexual harassment lawsuits. <laughs> They're going to start flying around. Watch. It's going to be... And that fat chipmunk, that Theodore chipmunk looking guy, yeah, him. <laughs> he got rid of the green sweaters and started wearing black sweatshirts. It don't make you look slimmer. <laughs> you still fat. Him right there, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow AK or Tommy. Me neither. But yet, I get these clips. I don't follow Fresh and Fit. I'm like, what is it? One of them named Fresh and the other one named Fit? <laughs> I swear. I'm like, how do people watch this garbage? Oh, Tommy ain't gonna fight me. You think Tommy would fight me? He'll try to think about doing that, but hit some views. And as soon as he touched me and realized that I'm not the internet, and if he put a hand on me, he would probably lose hands, limbs, and set on fire. So <laughs> he'd be like, I blew up! I'm burning now! <laughs> but look at my views! <laughs> exactly Tommy I don't want no energy with no man and of course he calling the police we didn't already seen him do it I mean, what you doing, Tommy? Calling the police. Hello, police. My name Tommy. I home. <laughs> I was minding my own business. 
And this guy just punches me right in my mouth. Well, damn, where did you come from? Huh? You ever find money in your pocket? You know you put on a coat you ain't put on in a minute, and you find some money, found some cash. Got a little petty cash now. Uh, what's going on today? Um, I put some Carmex on. I ain't trying to get my Michael Irvin on. Michael Irvin, boy, that dude need Carmex bad. I mean, it's so bad. He he lick his lips and they still chap. He lick his lips and they still chap. That boy has lifetime permanent chaplet. Michael Irvin, boy, that. And I was like, <laughs> when they did that SNL sketch, <laughs> they be calm down. We got another hour and <laughs> something to go. You guys act like y'all hopped up on cocaine. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> Man, I'm about to piss on myself watching that, man. That was hilarious. And that is them. Michael Irvin can't sit still at all. I saw when Max Kellerman lost his job. <laughs> I saw the episode when Max Kellerman lost his job to Michael Irvin. I saw it live. And I said, man, they going to get Michael Irvin on this show every week. I was just saying it out, out of my mouth, just watching Michael Irvin lose it on that episode. I said, this dude is turned up. And it was all about, they was in Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Everybody else was at a two. He was at 385. <laughs> he was through the roof. First, Michael Irvin couldn't sit still, lips chapped, he was sweating. They actually came out in the middle of the episode and started with the towel, the makeup crew. Had to pat him on the head because he was pouring the sweat. Like he, man, it was like he was in the pool pit. <laughs> he was sitting there. <laughs> No. They'd be like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't understand what the hell just went down with Michael Irvin. Do people realize Michael Irvin stabbed a man in the neck and almost killed him? An offensive lineman. <laughs> Do anybody remember that? They gotta think twice about pushing Michael Irvin. Right in the barbershop. All because it was his turn to get a haircut. Seniority. And when the guy didn't respect his seniority, he's like, hey, I'm a second year player. I ain't a rookie no more. You can't do this to me. Michael Irvin was like, all right, yeah. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> right in his neck. <laughs> Seniority call. <laughs> uh. 
That's why I'm here. I think I'm early as hell though. No, it's uh, uncharted time. What's up? You, you ready for uncharted? What's that? You ready for uncharted? Oh man, I was just thinking about that one. Like, <laughs> I might have a PlayStation in a minute. I gotta see this. Yeah, I know. Everybody was playing the game. I heard the movie a little different from the game, though. Yeah, hey, it's all right. I had to get my app up for Uncharted. Hold on. Hey. All right. I'm going to go check out Uncharted. I'll holler at y'all later.